Welcome back guys to my channel. I know, I know that I haven't been uploading for a while, but I've been swamped with projects you don't understand. Anyway, let's get right into it. This is the site plan for the project which I would have presented by the time this video will be live. If you want to know the details of the project, comment down below. So first thing I did is find a green contour palette which would help me pick the colors for each contour. I did this by using the bucket tool and clicking on each contour going dark to light depending on your slope. Now to make the green a bit more realistic I will add a texture by selecting the area and adding a texture and changing the scale and opacity to how you want it to look like. Photoshop is all about trial and error which is why I'm messing with textures so much as you never know what looks better. I think at some point I used a wood texture for grass, I know right? So what I will be doing next is the actual building. Now since it's a side plan, I will only show the roof. The building is made of zinc cladding as a roof cladding, so I will get a texture of Google and use it. I scaled it down to roughly the, the real scale. Once again, I use the selection tool to highlight the area and, se and right click select inverse and press delete. The balconies are made of timber and the one on the right are higher than the others which is why I've made them darker than the rest. Doesn't the roof look a bit plain? Add shadows to make it more interesting and realistic. Also since my roof has angles it will make it more understandable and then some more textures to show the path using the same method as I described before. To put my building in context which is very important as you want to show the relationship between your building and the surrounding ones. To do this I will make them dark depending on the heights. Once again I'm using the selection tool and the bucket by changing the layer and area needed. I then used grey as it won't stand out too much and using different shades to show the height difference. I then carried on and created the rest of the site. Once again I only used the selection tool and textures for the road is asphalt and for the pavement is pavement blocks. I changed the opacity on some of these just to make it fit in with the lightness of the site. All textures I have brought as an image and what you do is you go to image, define and then define as pattern. Now these textures will stay in your texture library in Photoshop forever. And I mean forever. Dun, dun, dun. Now the fun part of this site plan is placing the trees on the site. Now to get them as accurate as possible, I looked at Google Maps and pinpointed the actual trees. Now you need to make sure it's as real as possible by looking at the size and even color if possible. To change color, I changed the color balance and copied the layer style and pasted in all the trees. For shadows, I grouped and duplicated the layer and placed it underneath the trees and made them black. You have to play with the opacity to make sure that it doesn't, that the black doesn't stand out or doesn't show. I then did the same for the building heights. For some buildings, it's easy to draw it yourself, so don't be shy to try. I then went on and added a few more details like the courtyard, which include, included of a small tree which needed a shadow by itself, and the shadow for surrounding buildings as well. I then went over the contours with a large light black brush to add some depth around the trees and the render to make it more realistic. And this, this is the final render. If you would like to see the section render of this project or even the final presentation of this and the feedback, let me know in the comment section below. I'm the Architecture Insider and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.